So in this video, what we're going to look at is looking at the, um, the distance between two, um, two points using Google Maps on the iPad. And the way we do it is we pick the point where we want to start, and I'm going to start at Q here. And as you can see, I can sometimes start with an address, and if I go down, it would say measure distance. If I put it somewhere a bit more general like that, I'll get some other address, but then the measure distance will move up. So it's, the measure distance will be somewhere along this pane here. So I'm going to click on measure distance. And what you see is you'll get a little white spot there. So let's zoom in a little bit. You'll get the little the, the white spot there. That's where you're starting from. That's where you're essentially targeting to go to. So that's where you want to move it. So you're going to move it like that. And I might want to say go to here. It's telling me in the bottom left hand corner, it says 2.428 kilometers. And that's how far I've traveled in that straight line. I can go a bit further. I can go down there and it says seven kilometers. If I want to go a lot further out, I can. I can just drag it like that and you'll see that's that's changing. This part here is changing as I move it. So you can get it almost like a real time thing of how, how far away you are on a straight line. Now, that's, um, that's how it works. Now, if you want to change your starting point, Unlike on the PC where you can actually change that starting point, you can't on here. You would have to go to a measure the distance, again, go back out, um, and then find a new spot like that and start from there and measure distance there. Okay, so that's how you have to do it. If you want to put multiple points on, like you're going a little bit past um, the state, go add point, and then sometimes it can be a bit, you start from there, add point, I'm going to go from there, add point and then I move it along again, add point. And it's it's going to um, add up that distance as you do it. Okay, so that's how you can use the iPad to generate distance between two points.